Hey, it's Luke at HIP, and if you've been listening to the Grow Ortho podcast maybe for weeks, months, or in some cases years, you know that we typically interview an industry expert, whether it be someone working in the office or a consultant uh, or just a strategic partner for orthodontist. Well, we're going to change things up just a bit, and this year we've actually released four books. And so we're gonna release every audiobook, basically a chapter for each episode. Listen, enjoy, and let us know what you find valuable and implement and what works well in your office. Thanks so much for supporting HIP, and we hope you enjoy all these episodes on the Practice Growth Series. A note from the author. The economy is always changing, and whatever the direction of the flux, there are some people who are scared others who are anxious, and some who eagerly embrace whatever is coming their way. As I write these words, it is the end of the second quarter of 2022, and the world has moved from one state of turmoil to another. The experts are talking about a recession and warn that tough times are ahead. I don't know about you, but I've heard these doom and gloom predictions many times in my life. And sure, what we could count on one day was not always the same the next. However, there are always people doing great things, building amazing businesses and changing lives, regardless of the economics of the day. I want you to be one of them. Here's the thing. Attitude is everything. Those people who seem to thrive no matter what's going down around them have a mindset of success that is clear to everyone. You might think I'm trying to give you a pep talk, and maybe I am, but my purpose is twofold. As an orthodontist or a leader in an orthodontic practice, it's your duty to inspire people to take care of their number one attitude-enhancing asset. That's right. I'm talking about the gorgeous smiles you help people create. Therefore, your winning attitude helps people decide to start treatment and build the smile they need to inspire others. It's a tall order, but in any economy, here are some stats on the smile. 80% of adults report that straightening their teeth was one of the most important treatments of their lives. 76% admit that a smile is the number one physical trait to make a first impression. According to 68% of Americans, people who smile are more trustworthy, confident, and approachable. My point is that you signed up for this. It's your job to keep the world smiling, and in order to do that, you have to help influence new patients to start care at your practice. In fact, I think your responsibility is so vast that this entire book is dedicated to the strategies you need to get new patients to start treatment. You'll even learn how some of the top 1% orthodontic practices in the nation are getting people to start on the same day they do their complimentary consultation. I hope you have fun with this and get your entire team on board so that together you can help your community thrive. Best, Luke Infinger, co-founder and CEO at HIP. About Luke. If I hire you, will you stop bugging me? Asked the manager at Chick-fil-A with a resigned yet slightly amused look. I had shown up, resume in hand, asking to speak to him every week for the past three months. Until that day, every week he had said, no, you're too young. I was 15 years old at the time. He must have realized that my persistence and dedication were useful traits in an employee, and they were. Chick-fil-A's customer service values became my own, and soon I was put in charge of delivering packets with motivational training from Zig Ziglar and Jim Rohn to all new employees. I learned that if you believe in yourself and whatever you're selling, persistence pays off. My next two jobs were commissioned sales jobs. One was with Buckle, a retail chain with stores located in malls, and the other was selling the New York Times by phone. In both jobs, I became one of the top salespeople. I quickly learned that if you know all the ins and outs of your product and believe in it, you can transfer that belief and gain trust. I went on to study motion graphics at the Savannah College of Art and Design, SCAD. When I graduated, I targeted a motion graphics shop in New York City and sent LinkedIn messages to every single person until a former SCAD graduate got me in for an interview. The hours were awful, and the culture was worse, but for the year I was there, I crushed it. 
I did the entire third season promos for Game of Thrones with the help of one other guy. I left there and started HIP. My early career path taught me that training in personal growth, customer service, and sales creates magic in teams. A positive and supportive culture is paramount. If you take an interest in your employees and are caring yet firm, they will show up excited and eager to serve. At HIP, we know everything about the business of orthodontics, not just marketing. We are invested in the vision that you have for your life, your team, and your community. That's why we partner with the practices we serve. My mission is to live with integrity and help business owners make the best decisions with their time, money, marketing, and health. I repeat this to myself daily as part of my morning formula to make sure it is reflected in all aspects of my life. Life is about more than just work. That's why I care about why our partners want to grow their business and the lifestyle they want to create. When I'm not working, I enjoy spending time with my wife, Catherine, and our daughter, Aislinn and Reese, who's four, going on five. You'll find me in the garden, reading books or studying health and natural living. Introduction New patients are the lifeblood of every orthodontic practice. Without a fresh batch of starts each month, every practice would shrink to nothing in a couple of years. That's why the number one comment I hear from orthodontists, and I talk to hundreds every year, is, I just need more new patients. Because my company, HIP, specializes in orthodontic practice growth and marketing, the conversation quickly moves to, can you get us more new patients? We start to talk about websites and running ads to generate leads, and pretty soon they're telling me that leads from the internet are low quality. One guy asked if we could block certain types of people from seeing his ads and website. Another asked, can we rank the leads? Maybe give them a grade like A, B, C, and D? Because I only want to follow up with A's and B's. This one orthodontist who signed on with us said, take the request a free consultation form off my website. If they really want to come see us, they can call us. Website leads are all bad patients. Now, I've worked with hundreds of orthodontic practices since 2014. I've helped some of the nation's fastest-growing orthodontic practices add millions of dollars to their production. Dr. Ben Fishbein has been a client at HIP since our inception, and we have helped him grow from three locations, 25 staff and 2 million in production to eight locations, 100-plus staff and over 25 million in production. Many of our strategies have been tried, tested, and refined in his office. The one thing I can tell you about growing a practice through online leads is, there are no bad leads. This is book number two in the Orthodontic Practice Growth Series. Book number one, Front Desk Secrets of the Nation's Fastest Growing Orthodontic Practices, is all about how your scheduling coordinator can book more of those leads for free consultations by following one simple principle. Speed to lead. Throughout this book, as we refer back to book number one, we will call it Front Desk Secrets. If you have not read it, please get a few copies and review it with your team. You can order the item on Amazon by searching Front Desk Secrets. Or just go to https colon forward slash forward slash hip dot agency forward slash the ultimate TC and you can see all options for purchasing the book as well as the audiobook. The principles, processes, and scripts in that book alone can easily add hundreds of thousands of dollars to production. More importantly, you'll see firsthand how offices just like yours are turning low-quality online leads into new patient consultations and starts. Our focus in book number two is on the treatment coordinator, TC, role. Your TC is the person responsible for inspiring the new patients to make the commitment to the process of straightening their teeth and building a winning smile. After the new patient has had their consultation and the doctor has given their recommendations for treatment, we want them to say yes to the process and make financial arrangements to pay the five to $7,000 cost. We refer to this as the conversion of a new patient consultation to a start. The national average for conversion in orthodontic offices is 52%, or roughly one out of every two new patients agreeing to follow the recommendations and begin paying. How does your clinic stack up to the national average? If you're at or slightly above average, 
maybe you're feeling pretty good about yourself and your team. And you should. However, life is about growth and evolution, and research shows that people are happiest when the person they are today is improving over the person they were yesterday. How different would your life be if you could increase your conversion rate from 52% to over 75% or even 80%? For an office that does four new patient consultations a day, that would mean increasing from two starts a day to three. If each start adds roughly $5,000 to production, it's $25,000 a week and over $1 million a year. Would that help you in realizing some of your goals for your practice and the vision for your life? If you implement the strategies I show you in this book, your office can be converting at a rate of 75 to 80% as well. Throughout this book, I'll be sharing real-life examples, processes, and scripts that will get your team helping more new patients to say yes. The Ultimate Treatment Coordinator is my answer to your question, how do I get more new patients? It will answer that question and more as I show you how to implement these five growth hacks so you can hit your production goal quickly. By using the processes and scripts in this book, you and your team will be able to 1. Respond to leads in 5 minutes or less and schedule them within 72 hours. 2. Pre-frame fees and same-day starts in the first call. 3. Double capacity with our 30-minute new patient consultation. 4. Get more yeses with our 5-minute fee presentation. 5. Start 80% of new patients the same day with our proven playbook. This book is all about sales. It's what the TC does. They're responsible for selling the treatment to the patient. I've met a lot of TCs, and they've all been great people. But the thing that all the successful practices I've worked with have in common is that their TCs are more than just salespeople. They're influencers, and I mean it in the sincerest way possible. The terms salespeople and influencers tend to turn people off because they think of the sleazy used car salesman or the superficial Instagram influencer selling millions of followers products they've never even tried. Real salespeople love sales, and they do it because they genuinely love being able to give something to someone who really needs it. In fact, did you know the Latin root of the word sell, sellen, actually means to give? When you are selling someone something, you are giving them your time, knowledge, wisdom, information, and the opportunity to make an informed decision that will hopefully benefit their life. Your TC is not trying to manipulate your patients to spend thousands of dollars on something they don't need just to make a sale. They're influencing your patients to accept and realize the person they want to be so they can help them build the bridge to get there. If a patient is feeling self-conscious about their smile, the best thing your TC can do is give them information on how they can get the smile they've always wanted. If your TC can't influence them to decide, you can't help them. Once you get comfortable with the selling, it gets really fun, especially when you get a bonus every time you close. My first commission sales job was at Buckle, a retail jeans store. Imagine me as a dorky teenager sizing up the girls that walked in. Once I had the whole fit thing down, I'd grab a product in her size and say, you've got to check out this new fit we have. I think you'd love it. If I could get them to try on the jeans, I could pretty much guarantee a sale. I knew exactly which fit to pull based on body type. Slim and tall are totally different than short and curvy. If you want to be the best, you have to know everything about the product you are selling. I quickly rose to the top in sales there. I loved it because I was helping a lot of girls feel good about themselves. The added bonus is that I now know exactly how to pick out jeans for my wife. On that note, I definitely encourage you to bonus your team members whenever they do something that increases sales or your efficiency. We're going to dig right in and get our hands dirty, deconstructing the roles on your team and redefining them so that everyone is specialized and focused on what they do best. In Chapter 1, we'll even show you a way to test your staff members' personality styles so you can make sure that they are working in their zone of genius. People naturally resist change. It's human nature. So, in Chapter 2, 
I'm going to show you how to get your team opened up and receptive to change. You'll discover the five mindset shifts that need to happen in order to implement these five growth hacks in your practice. Chapter 3 delivers the real goods. It shows you how to improve your whole team's efficiency with the 30-minute consultation. Best of all, it doubles your capacity for consultations, meaning you can get more new patients in sooner. The magic happens in Chapter 4, where we go over how to present fees to make it easy for patients to say yes. Get this book into your TC's hands now and have them practice using those scripts right away. If you want to have the biggest impact on production, there is no better way to do it than by implementing the same day start. Chapter 5 shows you the setup and scripts you need to get new patients in your chair for bonding or iTero scanning right after the fee presentation. Of course, not everyone is going to say yes to your TC right away. Chapter 6 gives you the follow up procedure they need to stay on top of these pending patients until they are ready to start. I'll also show you how our CRM software, Practice Beacon, PB, can make tracking and follow up easier for your team. In Chapter 7, I'll help you tie it all together with a walkthrough, start to finish, of all these procedures and scripts so your team can visualize the entire process. Finally, all these strategies for converting leads to new patients will have your practice growing and creating next-level problems. While frustrating, the problems that come up are great signs of evolution. In Chapter 8, I'll show you the small, medium, and large model of orthodontic practices that can help you handle these growing pains with ease. This chapter also introduces the concepts of Book Number 3 of the Orthodontic Practice Growth Series, which is all about operations. The concepts in this book are as life-changing as they are paradigm-shifting. I encourage you to ease into them with understanding and support for your team. Small changes can create big results. Remember to enjoy the process and celebrate your wins.